What's up guys, my name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. So today Apple just released iOS 13 developer beta three. I installed it here on my iPhone XS Max. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's new. So with every beta, I go ahead and test the functionality of 3D touch. It seems like it's working a little bit better in iOS 13 beta three, but the functionality of 3D touch like it was in iOS 12 still isn't here in iOS 13. So with a press and hold on the YouTube app, for example, you can see it brings up this shortcuts page, but if I do a 3D touch on the icon and remove my finger, it shows that page a lot quicker. So the phone definitely is detecting force, but the issue we're having here with 3D touch is back on iOS 12, as soon as the phone detected force, it would show this page without requiring you to remove your finger from the screen, which would help with people doing one-handed gestures if they just want to 3D touch on YouTube, swipe up to subscriptions, and open the app. But instead, all you can see there is it puts it into wiggle mode. So on iOS 12, it was much faster, much easier. I, I don't know for some reason why on iOS 13, Apple refuses to bring back the old functionality of iOS 13, but right now, at the current moment, 3D touch still requires you to remove your finger from the screen to do any actions. Kind of annoying, I'm not very impressed with this, and I hope they change it in a later beta. So there is also a slightly updated animation when opening up the home panel. If I go here into control center, open up my home widget, if I 3D touch on this button here, you can see there the animation is a little bit smoother. I think it is a little bit slowed down also. On beta one and beta two, this felt very fast, kind of choppy almost. So now when I press and hold on this, it uh, kind of fills the screen in a more uh, smooth way, if you will. If we go ahead and jump into the App Store, there is a new updated page for Apple Arcade that now supports rich detail. So as you can see, there is an auto playing video up here. Although it is very low resolution, I don't know if this is an issue with the beta, but as you can see here, it does display a lot more information and there is a, a button here to notify you if you want to be notified via email when Apple Arcade is available. So this is a much more welcoming page in the App Store to get people excited for Apple Arcade. There also is a change in the music app and one that I really don't like. So if we go here into music, you can see here if I play this song, uh, these aren't aligned anymore, the play, pause, and skip buttons. So you can tell they're kind of aligned towards the bottom, whereas before in iOS 13 beta one and beta two, they were aligned in the center. So I kind of have a graph here that I made in photos with a line so you can see this a bit better. But uh, now the icons are kind of justified towards the bottom, whereas in the previous betas, it was justified in the middle. So I don't know if I like this. It kind of makes the skip buttons look a little bit smaller. Uh, my eyes might get used to it for all I know. And then if Apple changes it back to the way it was, my eyes might think that looks weird so we'll have to see um, it doesn't affect the functionality of the music app it's just a very small visual thing there also is a new toggle inside of settings under facetime settings now i don't want to show you my facetime settings on my iphone here because it will show you my phone number but i did take a screenshot of it here and there is a new option for facetime attention correction now this says your eye contact with a camera will be more accurate during FaceTime video calls. So I don't know what this means, but whenever I FaceTime someone and I'm looking at their face on the screen, uh, I really should be looking at the camera so it looks like I'm making eye contact with the person. So maybe Apple is doing some sort of uh, artificial intelligence to trick uh, the camera to make it look like you're making eye contact even if you're looking at some other part of your phone and you're not looking at the camera. Uh, that's just a wild guess. I honestly don't know what this does. I wish Apple would publish more information on their website so we can understand what this toggle actually means. So a quick one, moving over into the settings application, if you go to your profile, you can see here that the subscriptions page has been moved up to this first section of pages here, and there is now an icon for iCloud. So a few bugs have been fixed, and the subscriptions page has been moved up slightly. If you pull up the keyboard on iOS 13 beta three, there is a new microphone icon. So very small, but if you can see here on the bottom right, the dictation button is now filled in instead of it being hollow. Uh, if you go look at your iPhone right now, if it is not running iOS 13 beta three, it will look different than this. I think this looks nice. I think this will draw more people's attention uh, to the dictation feature so they can use it more often. And finally, one of the last things that I found in iOS 13 beta three, if I open up shortcuts, there is a new page for all applications. So when you go ahead and create a new shortcut and you add an action and you click on apps, there is a completely new page here to select all your applications and it kind of mimics the way it looks on your home screen. And I think that there is a new icon for the Apple TV remote on the top left there, as you can see. So a uh, slightly updated page for your apps inside of shortcuts.
So guys, that pretty much wraps it up for iOS 13 beta three. Apparently there is a bug right now where the update is not showing up for people that are using the iPhone seven or the iPhone seven plus. Uh, I will keep you updated on Twitter uh, for that issue because I know there are a lot of my viewers that are running the beta that use an iPhone seven or seven plus because it is still a fantastic phone. So uh, follow me on Twitter for updates on that issue. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.